it's Debbie again. In one of my latest videos, I highlighted that I was going to educate you on the design sheet. So today we're at one of our custom builds. It's not quite finished yet. And unfortunately, we can't go inside because there's a ton of work being done. We're trying to keep to a schedule. But we're gonna focus on the exterior today and then talk about how the design sheet that we put together, I put together with the homeowner, how that is now we're seeing the finished product. The second thing I'm going to talk about is uh, how to coordinate colors because I know that is a, a constant question of how do we get all these colors to work together. So let's like, take a look at what we put together for this client. This is the design sheet just on the column for the exterior. That's what we're focusing on. This picture we put together when we were shopping for colors as well as stone, trim, soffit, and gutters. And so you can see here, we actually put this together um, back in November-ish of last year. The paint hasn't been done yet, but I'll show you uh, how close we are to getting this complete. And you see here, we made our color selections. So uh, these colors have been picked out through Sherwin-Williams. And we also had a retaining wall picked out, which is now installed outside, as well as the exterior color of our windows to match everything together, and our garage doors. Also, you'll see the selection for some of the side entry doors and the corbels that have already been installed. as well as this is the exterior stone. So this is a good example here. Of, uh, I try to update the design sheet as the progress of the house is, is being done because on your first picture, you saw a rendering of this stone and now we're actually seeing the finished product here as well as uh, the exterior lights. So let's take a look outside and we can compare from what we already have logged in the computer. So here we see the exterior stone. It's already been installed. Uh, the flashing, this siding is just primed. So it's gonna be painted red, just like we showed you in the picture. And this will be painted to match the rest of the trim. But then here we have the bronze color on our windows. So these windows are really gonna stand out as a nice contrast. And then we see this soffit, as well as the gutters, they both match the color of our trim. So we had a paint match to make sure that we're not trying to put too many different colors together. So we're really only focusing in on four main colors. We have the Autumn Harvest. We have the, the Rookwood Wet Red. Uh, I think our third paint color is a pewter. And then we have the bronze from the windows, as well as I uh, believe we'll close this door here. This beautiful door is just primed. This is a fiberglass um, fur grade door, craftsman style. This is called a dental shelf. If you've ever wondered why it's called a dental shelf, it's because these look like teeth. So this is going to be a beautiful door. We'll stain it so it'll look like real wood, but it'll hold up a lot longer than a real wood door will. So this is a really good quality door. And now let's look at our corbels. You see he, these here? These will also be painted to match the decor. So they're not going to stand out as a stark white when we're finished with them. But it's a beautiful detail to go on the front of our garages here. And then you can take a look at the garage doors, that dark brown color, those really stand out. This is actually a three car garage. This is a really nice size garage. your house like stone or brick along with siding is uh, 
how many colors can I pick? Uh, at what point is it going to look too loud? And uh, that is definitely something to be concerned about, especially when you pick a stone that has so many different colors in it. You can see there's a lot of different tones in this stone, but they really play together quite beautifully. And so what, really what we did is we pulled from colors that already belong here. And generally, Dave's rule of thumb is to not exceed more than four color aspects on the exterior. So if you remember from our design sheet, we have the color of our siding, we have the color of our trim, we have the color of our windows, and we have the color of our board and bed. So that's four. And they all tie in, again, with the stone, as well as the roof. The roof is a nice, this is called weathered wood. It's a nice earth tone that just blends with everything. This, these shingles are actually our most popular shingles because they, they will pull from whatever color element you have on the house. So they have blues in them, they have grays, they have red, they have black, and they have brown. So really with whatever color you decide to pick for your house, these shingles, that this color in particular, would be a perfectly safe option to go with. So stay tuned because next time we visit this property, this house is going to be wrapping up. And so I'll take you through the inside, which will be really exciting. There we'll get to see uh, the finished results of how the homeowners were able to pick a har hardwood floor, their custom built-ins, their trim and cabinetry, and how that all that they only picked three colors so that it wouldn't get too loud but it, it just looks absolutely awesome i've already taken a, a sneak peek and i know it's going to turn out amazing and uh, so you'll be excited to see the finished result as well as their absolutely